Hello, and welcome to a special episode of Opera in Brief where we're going to be talking about opera itself in a new segment we're calling Opera 101, Classes in Session. Let's start with definitions. Simply put, opera is an over 400 year old art form that combines the many different elements of visual and performing arts such as music, dance, theater, costumes, lighting, and special effects to tell a dramatic story. But what does that entail? Singing. Lots of singing. Oh god, so much singing. You'll hear it in German, French, Italian, Czech, Russian, you name it. But don't worry, there are translations called supertitles above the stage so you can always understand what's going on. There are also four main kinds of singers you'll hear. First are the sopranos, and seriously, we've got to put them first. It's just a matter of self-preservation. This is the highest voice for women, and they usually either play the damsel in distress or a powerhouse woman in charge with no in-between. Next is the mezzo-soprano, also just called mezzo, the mid-to-low female voice. They often play older women, young boys, or mean women, otherwise known as witches, britches, and mean women. Then we have the tenors, the high male voice, who are often the heroes and love interests of the story. And finally, the bass, the lowest of the low, who pretty much only ever play the villain or the father, and many times both at once. So you want to go to the opera. What do you wear? Well, really you can wear whatever you want, from jeans to white tie, but commonly people will wear at least business formal. The general rule of thumb is, dress for the experience you want to have. Some people have more fun dressing up than others, and that's okay. Once the show starts, it may be hard to tell when to applaud. There are four main occasions to applaud when the conductor arrives at the podium, when the singers finish their arias, at the end of an act, and during bows. When in doubt, just follow everyone else. Seasoned opera goers will be happy to take the lead on this one. But other than that, please just do your best not to distract your fellow audience members. Please don't sing, use your cell phone, eat, talk, kick, or dance down the aisles or snore. If you're a baby and need some outside time during a family performance, please accompany your adult to the lobby until they accommodate you properly. If you ever need to use the restroom, please do so only before or after the show or during intermission. Otherwise, you might miss something important especially because the ushers won't let you back in. So now that you've got the basics of opera going, here's a bonus tip. If you really love a man's performance, you can yell bravo, which is Italian for you go dude. But if it's a woman, then you change it to brava. If it's a group of performers that includes men, you can cheer for them all with a hearty bravi. And finally, if it's all women, such as in Puccini's Suor Angelica, you can shout brave. If it's so good that you want to hear it again, you can shout encore, and maybe they'll oblige with a second performance. So now you know a little bit about attending an opera. If you're curious, go ahead and check out the other operas in brief to see what's coming up this season. See you in the theater!